Friday night's strongest seek to make waves in the wake of a resurgence. I'm Chris Charlton, and this is Finnish Strong for the week of August 20th, 2021. The immense event that was resurgence in the jam-packed and sold-out torch at LA Coliseum gave way to a new era on NJPW Strong this week, and that meant plenty of competitors looking to make brand new statements. That included Alex Coughlin, who continued his Open Challenge Match series tonight against Matt Morris. Morris made his NJPW debut at Resurgence as an announcer, but the Drama King is just as effective in the ring, and that's what he sought to show on Friday night. Yet it was Coughlin with the lion's share of the match. A heavy tackle starting off his offense, and Unreal Power saw him pop the hips and fling Morris across the ring with a front suplex, followed by a delayed vertical for two. Morris finally created some space and hit a back elbow and a lariat to put Coughlin to the floor, where he was caught with a cannibal tope. Back inside, a swanton for Morris got two, but a high cross saw Coughlin roll through and hit that fallaway bridging slam. But as Coughlin closed in on victory, Morris escaped a deadlift suplex to hit a shotgun dropkick and then a front DDT he calls the director's cut for the win. Six-man action saw a trio that was united at Resurgence in Clark Connors, TJP, and Ren Narita take on a disparate and sensational team. Fred Rossa teaming up with independent sensations Fred Yehai and a man with a lot of buzz surrounding him of late Daniel Garcia. TJP started with Garcia and maneuvered him into a Cobra Twist to bring Connors inside, but Garcia fired back with chops and that allowed Yehai and Rossa to set to work. Isolated, Connors would eventually tackle Rossa to bring Narita in, the LA Dojo transplant having a lot of issues with Fred Rossa of late. Narita cornered the Suntime Superman until eventually a slam from Rossa allowed Yehai to get the tag. Connors would eventually react with a power slam and a spear, and as the match broke down, a swinging DDT for TJP cleared the ring with Narita and Garcia left in. Garcia tried to drop Narita, but would get stretched before the narrator special number four granted the win. Our main event tonight saw Violence Unlimited's long-held issue with Team Filthy continued. The two newest members of the group, West Coast Wrecking Crew of Royce Isaacs and Drell Nelson, taking on Brody King and Chris Dickinson. Dickinson went right for the arm of Isaacs before taking his opponent down, but Nelson would be able to take over without the benefit of attack. Dickinson was isolated and his knee was heavily worked on when the Dirty Daddy was in the wrong part of town for a long time. Before finally, forearms, an enzigi and a German suplex brought Brody in. Brody was able to take down both of his opponents and got a Chris Dickinson assist on a Boston Crab. With Dickinson legal, a brain buster on Nelson almost sealed the deal, but Isaacs was there for the save. King dropped both men to the outside, but JR Kratos was waiting on the floor to dump Big Bad Brody King, leading to the movie on the roof elbow to grant a controversial victory for the West Coast Wrecking Crew. Now we join Team Filthy. We beat Brody and Dickinson. I'm not any stock trader or investor, but that sounds like a solid growth on our return on our investment here. Well, you, you said it best. The franchise got two first round picks when they added the West Coast Wrecking Crew to Team Filthy. And to me, this entire time, I thought, I thought uh, both us and Team Filthy were just a match made in heaven. And you saw the results before we lost to Brody and Dickinson. Hey, now it's just a go. Brody and Dickinson, we're one and one. We're neck and neck. Good brothers, watch your back. Team Filthy. All right, weirdos, uh, resume as you were. Certainly, Team Filthy and Violence Unlimited issues are not done as we start the countdown towards Fighting Spirit Unleashed on Strong and Leo Rush challenging Filthy Tom Lawler for the Strong Openweight Championship. That coming up in the next few weeks. Meanwhile, as a hot crowd has already experienced at Thunder Studios in Long Beach, you can be a part of the best hour of pure professional wrestling on the planet. Autumn Attack sees NJPW Strong Tape live September 25th and 26th at the Curtis Colwell Center in Dallas-Fort Worth. Get your tickets now. That's it. We've finished strong for another week. Until next time, go kick in your sayonara.